What is up, everybody? It's ADB95, and I got Michael in the commentary booth with me. Hey, hey, hey. It is week five, the game that decides pretty much everything in Group C. We got Raven Crown and Mummel uh, playing out for their chance to catch Nate in second place and take the, pl the playoff spot. We are going to uh, Frost Fight first, which is yeah, a... It's very, Very interesting map to play, yeah. to say the least. You got a lot of crates there, and uh, you, you got you can see already the the different approach from from Raven. He's got medic and grenadier, which is unusual for frost fight. Meanwhile, Mamo yeah. is going for. Uh, I think parachute. he's going paratrooper first. That's a weird pick. Yeah, I was just confused for a second because I can't hear the game audio for some reason. Why are they not starting? <laughs> Start uh, the game! Maybe technical issues. But uh, back to the lineup. Uh, I think this is a power play from Mamo. If he can get his first turn, I think he's gonna go for the rocket launcher first. Or for some boxes, depending on the placement of the pa paratrooper. And maybe he's gonna try to get as much damage on the enemy, on Raven's Medic as possible before he can get the trank off. Still, I don't exactly believe in the second position of the Medic because you're basically putting yourself in a willing disadvantage. Okay, we fixed the audio thingy, and I told Raven to go, so... Alright. There we go. Let's get a good match going. So, like we said, um, currently Raven and Mamo are 3rd and 4th, with 3 points each, and they need to win this match to catch Nate, and in case of uh, Raven Crown, a 2-1 wouldn't even be enough. He needs a 2-0 to even have a chance to catch Nate. Yeah. That is if Nate uh, loses to, to Rue. Ru. Yeah. Uh, which if is he... uh, likely, if I have to say, because Rue has been really a powerhouse in this group. Yeah, he's been playing super well. Always in a good condition. Let's see. I mean, if anything, he has showed us that uh, technically 2v2 matches are possible because of his weird contraption that he uses to play with Ness. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this because Raven is going That's... first. He's going at a, with a little bit of a late jetpack. I don't know if he's going to have time to do the trank after. Uh, if he can spin around and put trank in his hand fast enough, no. no. He just wasted his turn. In, in that situation... Oh wait, I didn't. We didn't even yeah. notice that the voices were off in the first turn. On in the first turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was saying, in that situation, you should take out your weapon first and then go to the uh, to the target because every weapon um, has some kind of a cooldown. So if you take it out, you have to like wait a split second to to fire it. The bazooka has the highest cooldown. It's like one and a half second. So. It, it, it is important to, uh, when, you, when you're decided on a move, you, you might as well take out your weapon immediately. These are some definitely interesting plays from Mamo. I don't know what he's trying to do, except maybe trying to pick up some boxes. And that's gonna be another blank turn with no damage for Mamo. Or did he use a jetpack on somebody? I didn't see that. No, he used his jetpacks to mostly reposition himself. Mm. Which He's... is weird, he repositioned himself to another jetpack box, which was normally accessible with on foot. Yeah. And then he put uh, himself but... on, that, on that hill where I believe the healing weapons are. Yeah. But he hasn't collected them. And that's a very good Not cluster that. for Raven. Mm -hmm. Very decent damage. I think around 95 or something, because I see a, I've seen a lot of 13s. Mm -hmm. That was definitely destructive. 94. He's probably, he's probably gonna go and try to heal his pig, which would be a smart move. And then. Not the grenadier, maybe... probably. <laughs> no, no, yeah. 
The Grenadier would not be the best target to heal, to be honest. But yeah, um, yeah, he's gonna focus the enemy medic. That's not yeah. a bad move. In he's, my he's gonna take the MoMA. By the way, do you know we got, well, do you know why it's called the MoMA? Just out of nowhere. Who? Do you know why it's called the MoMA? The the technique of tranquilizing the other medic while also body blocking. No. Do you indulge me. Uh, yeah, it's just a funny, a funny way that uh, Axpy called it once, and it just became the name. It's, it's, uh, it stands for medic on medic action. Oh, a nice shirt, good. I see. So we have the paratrooper. Now, Raven was going first, but he has wasted the opportunity on medic advantage, so he now has to counter with damage. He's doing well so far. Grenadier turn ah, but okay. he hit his pig as well. He could have maybe aimed a little more oh to the left, so then he would maybe do less or even avoid the collaborate damage. That is a bunch up that I've never seen. Two pigs per team are in that, bro and in that group. And I believe he's gonna put a third one there. Which means a total fifth one. If he doesn't slide there himself. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my oh. He gets to continue though because he didn't take any damage. He's forced to use the second jetpack right away because he can't move because of Grenadier. And yeah. I can't keep up with what's happening to be honest. Me neither. Like I'm very, very confused what happened here. Uh, it does fit Mamo style which... Uh, uh, I, I like the way um, I was talking with Axpy, uh, because apparently this match is very was very hyped, because these are two players that, uh, like, Mamo is uh, a very respected player for his, like, chaotic play style, and Raven has yeah. been in the Grand community for ba basically ev uh, the entire duration of the Grand League tournaments. Uh, the best way I, I, I've heard these two people des describe is Raven is uh, chaotic neutral and R Mamo is chaotic chaotic. Yeah, yeah, like pure chaotic. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's how it would explain it properly. Yeah. But uh... Uh, this. Hmm. Is he going for the sure kill? No. Oh, the sure kill. Yeah, probably. Uh, all, all things considered, yeah, Mamo did a he's ton of, kill... of damage to the Oh, he, the he killed pigs. his medic. Did he not? No, he, he killed um, the yellow sapper. Yes, but he did uh, 17 collat damage to his medic, so... Oh, yeah, he, he hurt him, but that one is not enough, maybe. Uh, I, oh. I think his medic was like on 18 or... Something like that? Oh, no, I, I that don't think so. No, no, no. Because it should have shown us. The game should have shown us if it was on very low health. Mm -hmm. But actually, Mamo did very well with those jetpacks in the group there before. Because he did a lot of damage to these two pigs that are very important. And now this is uh, a juicy lineup. The, the Grenadier is going oh, to wow. skip his next turn. If he doesn't get water damage, and he will, okay. It is indeed a shame that he didn't get the turn skip that he wanted, but yeah, hey, that it's turn still skip good damage, and that poison was is gonna do some damage in later. Yeah, it was going to be basically guaranteed, because Medic is tranquilized, then so he skips, then the Grenadier skips, so it was going to be two in a row. Mm-hmm. What I'm thinking is that Mamo is trying to throw Raven off a little with his very chaotic place. But yes. since uh, Raven has similar very play much style. In character. Yeah, I think since he has the similar play style, he's not gonna be as much affected. But let's see how this one I turns out. I think so, out. yeah. So far, it does look like Raven has more health in general. Yeah, but. Ravens, I think he's doing one big mistake, and that is he is not looking at his own uh, units where they're standing, and this is like the third time he hit his own unit. Yeah, I think he... 
he is uh, mispositioning his picks a little bit. And by the way, if you know this map, you should not stand here at any in any possible. Oh, wow. okay. I didn't even know this skip. Wow. Okay. I think he did some more research. Yes, so. Uh, and this guy, Ninja, uh, living up to this, his name, is just stealing jetpacks left and right. Yeah. Then I heal oh. his paratrooper. Perfect hit. Oh, that was very good. And, oh. Uh, Medic cannot be tranquilized because he's on 14. But if he manages to uh, do four head jumps, not even now, but later. He can use his tranquilize on, on tranquilizer on someone else and then also make the medic skip again. That would be insanely powerful. Yeah, if he can heal one of his pig and find the grenadier. He's dead. Oh oh yeah. True. He's gonna try he's gonna try and him. And Yeah, if uh, if Mamo can make that medic skip again, I think he's in front. But uh, yeah, he's gonna think about it and just track him. Yeah. Let's see. I would even think about killing my own medic if I were Raven, because I don't want to risk that. If his medic was a little better positioned, he might have done some collab damage with uh, both the medic explosion. I mean, this guy has himself. three jetpacks, and these two are very these two yellow pigs are very close to the water, so something can definitely be done about the situation. Mm -hmm. A decent jetpack here. Should have time for another one. Okay. He's going to have to go for something. Bazooka yeah. seems like a good idea. Yeah, I think so that. Not a that bad position, was... but he overshot it a little. Yeah. If he were to get a better hit for like the 40, he might have spun to the water, like a the better angle. I, w I was thinking and... he, it might have even touched the scout as well with the bazooka range. Hmm. With a shorter shit. A yeah. uh, shorter shot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. And obviously, he... that's not gonna be be cut because we can't. <laughs> yeah. He's thinking about it hard, but this might be the correct play here. No, I don't think he so. Land, he landed way too close to the edge. It, it is technically safer to do that, but a bazooka allows you to put yourself in a better position. Yes. Raven still has a full health scout. Mamo does have that full health paratrooper on the other side of the map, so it, it's probably gonna come down to a 1v1. Yeah, this is a thing that I noticed with uh, Raven, and that is that he's using his scouts less for the poison and more for the sure damage of the sniper rifle. Which is fair enough, there are definitely situations where poison is not a good idea, and this is definitely a situation where poison is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Ooh, repositioning. Oh, that was. Hmm. I don't think that's. Oh, what? That's... Whoa, whoa, oh whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa. no. That was scary for a second. Mamo just oh, he, almost he, ended his count. He? Three. He has like three health. Oh, that's. Hmm. Yeah, he, he was on 14, he took a dip and almost died in there. Oh, but Raven is yeah. gonna miss another a, a lot of turns now if Mamo can play this correctly. The medic is still there. Mamo needs to take care of him at some point. Yes, yes, that's very true. But this is another is... interesting situation. Mamo is probably going to heal him. Okay, cor correct. This is a correct choice because if he would have healed this scout, which remember now he's on three, it would have been viable for poison. So it would have been a mistake. Yeah. But right now, he just healed his pick that was poisoned, which would basically negate any further move on the character. That would be endangering okay, him. Okay, that's a water jetpack. Can I go for another one? No, okay. No, I think he wants to just do 
a lot of water damage. Which is the correct move. It was on 8 seconds, 7 seconds, which is definitely the limit of not firing a jetpack. But the medic takes a turn! And that is big uh -huh. for Raven. I think he can, if he carefully walks to the other side, he can even save the paratrooper with a heal. Yes, but I believe that's probably gonna take a lot of time. I think it's possible in 4 or 5 seconds. Uh, he's, he's doing the jumping, which does make you a little faster when you're limping a lot. I think uh, he's gonna make it, but he's not gonna be able to tranquilize the medic. Yeah, he's gonna sacrifice his turn, but I believe he, he, he should probably just trank now, because otherwise he's gonna lose two valuable turns. And I think Raven just lost the game here. Yeah, that's... Mm. That's two turns skip because he has two pigs on four health. And both of them are poisoned. And that's another skip turn coming because of this last guy, this guy's last turn. Yeah. It is very unfortunate. I believe Raven just got overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, it, it was a hard decision to take, to be honest. You, you, it was clear that you could have not gone both for the trank and the heal, or maybe, maybe yes, because the medic was on side. So I don't know, but uh, you know. Yeah, but if uh, like take it like this, he would have healed his pig, but the positioning of the medic, if he were to heal his pig, would next time he the uh, medic would go and get his turn. He would explode and basically drown his pig that he healed. So it is regardless a bad option to go there. Well, he could have... He, he would have had another another full cycle of pigs to just kill his own medic, though. And you can do that when you have paratroopers on, on, on the loose. Uh, if he had managed to heal his para, then trank the medic, the medic would have skipped right away. So... Uh, no chance for extra for 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 bunching up damage, and I think at that point, Raven could have taken care of his medic. It's convoluted, but it's uh, it's doable. This can be a nice double poison, but mm, the terrain is a bit slippery on the right side there. But uh, this could actually bring Raven back into this, and that's a hit. Mm -hmm. Double hit. So Mamo still has that one paratrooper with a ton of health up there. I think he's still on four, and that probably makes it game over. Yeah, because you have to pump a lot of damage into that paratrooper in order to actually have a chance to win. I think uh, poisoning the, the scout is a mistake here. If he had poisoned this guy, he would have been down to 15. Tranquilize, lose 10, and then 5 poison. So 2 turns is skipped in a row. Yeah, but then again, it might have been a waste of a Tranquilizer. At least in my opinion. But I am, I am just a bad player. <laughs> well, no, because the Tranq would have still taken effect. But uh, now it's definitely game over for, for, for Raven, because... Medic is skipping. The game just shown us that the last scout for Raven's team has very low health, so... Yep. I think he's just gonna go for a quick mercy kill after the heal. Yeah. Uh, knife would be enough. Even though we don't know exactly how much he, he has. The game has given us the animation, so we know he's below 20. Yes, so he's just gonna make sure with the rifle. Which is yep. even better. So Mamo takes round one, and unfortunately, that already is elimination for Raven Crown, because he needed to win to no. Yep. Uh, Which is a big shame, but hey, he yeah. didn't play the map that well. He uh, at this point he is the player that has played the most amount of Grunt League tournaments, and he still has never managed to get a playoff match. That is very sad, but I think uh, I know Raven Crown, you know, he'll keep trying. But for the moment, let's see if Mamo can make this a 2 0 and put the pressure on Nate, because with a 2 0, Mamo can qualify directly. See you in map 2. Yes.
I All tried right. the maps today with Mamo before uh, their game. Uh huh. And I was just going in blind. He already had his setups and everything. And I was just like, okay, give me that unit, that unit, and I don't know, that unit. And I just winged the maps and I still managed to beat Mamo on both of them. Huh? That is just how M Mamo is. And by the way, that was uh, uh, just uh, included in the, in the commentary. So we're going to keep that for the records. <laughs> and we are back to game two. Uh, yeah, that that again. That is exactly how Mamo is, and we'll see that if that. Oh God, again! I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut. No, 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 no cut. We're gonna show <laughs> that, that that Mamo does this every time. But I think he's got yellow again. So. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, share me the screen, please, if you can as well. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so they were changing his color again. Eh, Mom was being a chameleon today, I see. Yep, and he's picked yellow again, though. Oh? Um, we're going to Hugh, Hugh Hillock, one of the, in my opinion, most fun maps, because it's just... Uh, it, it tests your ability to just do raw damage. Yeah. It is very simple with the island setup. And if you if you know the positioning properly, how to get the pigs to the water, then you can He's do exactly some massive damage. Oh. oh, that was un unfortunate. Mm, I don't I don't know if it's a great idea to push the medics towards the water before having to tranquilize them. That was smooth, by the way. Mm -hmm. so hey, now we can actually him. body block him and get a trank off. Yeah. And if I were Raven, I think I would think about just killing them both in that position. Oh well. The Grenadier is coming. Another unusual choice to have a Grenadier uh, on New Hillock. Much, as much as it was on uh, Frostfight as well. Uh, you would be surprised. Grenadier here actually feels quite strong. Like, if you have a pig from the enemy very much badly dispositioned uh, on one of the corner aisles, you can actually get him out of bounds. I think the idea is that, uh, except for the corners, any other position on this map can be, uh, like, you can put him next to the water with a single jetpack, and if they are in the corners, they're eventually going to come out, because the action is probably going on somewhere else. And I think at a high level, Grenadiers aren't played on this map, because uh, it is very easy to do damage with basically any other rank. Especially paratroopers, like if you, if you can use... Uh, you can use the water in a very efficient way, you can do an insane amount of damage. That's a water? Yep, sadly. If only he took it like maybe one second longer, he would have done a bit more damage. Which I think exactly that's, that pig is gonna swim to the other side. Yeah, and he does even leave him enough time to shoot, and that pig is very low health, so yeah, anything will do. Uh, oh yeah, okay, he's gonna slide, so... It, it is interesting, because as much as we say that uh, uh, Mamo's playstyle is super chaotic, he, like, on the technical side, he is not that bad at all. Yeah. Uh, I think the only issue that Mamo has, like, at least from what I noticed from my match with him, and also from some practice matches, is uh, when it comes... Uh, when he's a little pressured with his positioning, he lacks the decision making. Uh, you uh, noticed yeah. how he went to the water in the first match and he just kept on almost drowning himself because he didn't know what to do properly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was a very strange move to, to just keep going. Like, my instinct is to just go back. That. Uh, 
Um, I mean, with Raven out, uh, mathematically, uh, this is a big opportunity for Mamo. Because again, uh, just to repeat what, what's going on with the leaderboards, if Mamo wins this game 2-0, then he will get w just one map behind Nate. So that means that if Nate loses, uh, he's going to be caught up by Mamo. And if Nate loses 2-0, Mamo will even surpass him. Uh, I don't want to be pessimistic or not believe in players, but I think if uh, Mamo wins, he's going to qualify. Because... Uh, definitely, Ru is one of the stronger players in this league. I'll tell you what, uh, this is, Ru is gonna hate me for saying this, but, uh, we had another, oh, another self-damage for Raven, I think. Yes. Uh, we had another, uh, situation like this one where one player out of nowhere is very strong and just destroys everyone in his group. Um, of course there has been players who have been able to keep their, their streak until the end, but we had had some, another couple players that have suffered from it, because if you have no difficulty, no pressure point during the group, that means your first, the first time you're going to be put under pressure is when, if you lose, you're out, and that is not very good. Yeah. Because the play, in the playoffs, if you lose, you're out, and... I mean, that's not necessarily what's going to happen, but it is something to, to keep in mind. Because uh, it is also a little bit, uh, you know, hard to tell for the, their their opponent as well, because they don't know what how they act. If they don't know how Ru acts in a, in a pressure position, they can't plan on it yet, e either. So it's, it's going to be completely on bl blind. That's true. But I believe that Ru might actually overcome. Uh, he doesn't very struggle under pressure. Even when he sometimes, even in the match with me, he mispositioned himself a little. Uh, and I got some cheap kills on him, where I got his picks out of bounds. He still didn't feel very flustered. He just did his little thingy and then he just continued massacring. I was so wondering I believe if, that, if that would have worked there. Uh, Raven just tried to try to send the Grenadier out with a cattle prod. And that was a good idea, considering that that was a very fast way to kill the Grenadier if it had worked. But it didn't work in the end. Yeah, I believe it lacked a little radius. Um, yeah, the, 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 big, the big problem with regular out-of-bounds kills, which is why I call them, oh. um... As opposed to those one where you just explode out, uh, out of nowhere. The problem with regular out of bounds kill is that very few weapons have enough knockback to send you from the last walkable tile to the very end of the map. Many people believe that a, t a TNT is enough, but it, it isn't actually, unless the terrain is very slippery and that makes it go, makes them go through. And uh, a catapult isn't enough either. In this map, there's actually some some uh, spots where a very a well placed TNT can make you go out, and that's, that's a perfect true. cluster. I think I saw Ooh. only 15s. That means a 105 damage cluster. That was very destructive. I must agree. Well, Mamo is grasping this match hard. I believe Raven's still shaken a little from his first map. Yeah. So that's holding him back a little. Also, something Let's that, don't, that I don't think we have mentioned at all during the, the group stage is... I mean, unless the very... We did we said it in the very first matches. Is that in the playoffs, we are switching to 30 seconds per turn. And that is another pressure factor, factor for uh, everyone, basically. Hmm. Ooh, that might have hit the tree. That was very close. But that paratroopers down. Yeah, I think uh, 
The raven is already down to three pigs. No, four, because the medic is still there. Yes. So that was the first kill. Let's see how this one goes. Uh, I... I mm, mm, oh, and I just noticed that neither player has gone to collect the mines. Yeah. That's one of the things. And... That was a very... Weird interesting direction for placement, me. yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the, there was this big pool on the left, big pool on the right side. He went for the direct hit TNT. Uh, yeah, yeah like, I think he's gonna go for the mine. Yep. Yeah. The, the, the two things that I need to remember about this map is the mines and the jetpacks in the middle. The jetpacks in the middle are literally impossible to miss, so... <laughs> yeah, whoever's going, who going first just has a little advantage, that's nice. Yeah, this, and, uh, this might be a good play. Yeah, it's a very good play, I think. I personally would have gone for a different... Oh! Oh, he drowned! Yeah! I was gonna say, like, I would go for a different direction because you never know uh, if he's gonna go into the water or no. So, I don't know how much that scout had, but he drowned almost immediately. So, I'm going to assume that after the mine, he was in skip range. So, you were correct if he should have put it, the, the mine in a different position. Probably. Oh, and yeah. the Boma has been reversed. Oh, yeah, because he, he got rid of his scout, which yeah. he didn't account for. It did a Uno Reversa. Oh, yeah, that's right. If he had survived and skipped, Mama would have still had the control of the medics. I think yeah, it's a little bit too late for Amoma Reverse to change the direction of this game, but we'll see. He was able to, to heal Percy and, and he was poisoned, so that's pretty big. Is it uh, 2v5 right now? Already? Scout is dead, and I don't it... see anyone else for Raven. I must have missed a kill. Oh! Oh, wow. That's, That's that long... was a very long swim. Yeah. I think the Hell Pool doesn't leave anything... Not, not much to do for Raven here. It is interesting, because... Personally, uh, in my own predictions, I thought that this game was going to be... Uh, the decisive game for for uh, second place, and it still is. But I mean, in a way that Raven and Mamo are tied for second place, and they're just playing out for to see who comes on top. But then week four happened with uh, Nate. Oh, it didn't get the full damage. Getting that uh, clutch victory on Mamo, and you, Michael, taking that uh, that victory on on Raven, which completely threw everything off. Yeah, I mean, we just we just had to stir it a little. Make it exciting. <laughs> sure, that's what Sa it's all about. Save and the actually, best for I, the last. Uh, the, 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 the good thing is that um, Michael versus Ravencrown, I think, came out on YouTube just as we were about to start recording this. Yeah. I think 20 minutes ago, bef before the recording. Uh, Raven is still um, fighting until the very end, but it looks like the game is over for Beer here. We haven't mentioned that. Mamo has apparently changed his name to team name to Beer. Yeah, he was <laughs> kind of... Um, how do you say it in English? Uh, Insistent on having that name. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> today, I believe he was... It's the first match he's actually playing sober. Oh yeah, he did say that at one point that this would he would play this match sober because he wanted to take revenge for last year. Uh, we I haven't said that I haven't said that. These two played last year in Grunt League Summer. Um because last year, just for you who, who might not know, last year we had two different Grunt Leagues. Uh, yeah, I I talked with uh, Mamo about it already, yes, previously. And this is a revenge match for Mamo, because yeah. I believe he lost to Raven last time. Yep. And, so, uh, it it is stri a striking difference in 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 uh, Mamo's playstyle today. I have to say. Yep. I want to give it a tr a, a, th a thought to uh, staying sober even the playoffs match if he gets there. 
definitely would help him because today he's playing quite solidly i must yep. say uh just wasted a few a few turns with the paratrooper on map one and i would say no other big mistakes i mean yeah here he basically made a position mistake but i think it's way too late to even think about that so yeah raven is gonna end it here with a grenade launcher nade. which is one of the, one of the worst one ways to die medic. even worse than the bayonet the grenade launcher but it does make it does make it a get a kill on the medic though <laughs> victory to beer which is absolutely <laughs> hilarious yep <laughs> All right, this definitely stirred the matches a little. Yeah, yeah they stirred the qualification towards Mamo because uh, once again, now Mamo jumps into well, technically not doesn't jump into second place. To jump in second place, he needs Nate to lose uh, against Rue. If he loses to one, it's gonna be tiebreaker between Nate and Mamo. If he loses to no, Mamo is qualified to the playoffs. Personally, I believe I would like to see the tiebreaker game, but it is from the from Ruth's performance, it is somewhat unlikely that it will happen. We never know. Nate might actually surprise us and show that uh, he can play well. Yeah, and uh, one map is definitely not impossible to to pull off. Uh, and oh, remember, you will not know. The result of this game until they play uh so it's gonna be interesting for that because he, he doesn't know uh who he needs to like play against for second place until he plays with with Ru. but regardless we are done here this was a interesting match it's uh was very nice to see mamo play sober and just unlock his is 100% brain power but <laughs> <laughs> yep but we'll see you guys next time from ADB and Michael that is everything yep take care people